Hollywood Hot Seat brought to you by Carpet One, Coleman Street, Belleville, the one store for your perfect floor. Christina Aguilera can blame her boyfriend for her arrest for public intoxication yesterday. Officers pulled over Matthew Rutler because of the exhibition of speed, or as he puts it in layman's terms, the officer burning rubber in a car so loud it will be heard 100 feet away. <laughs> uh, they say Aguilera didn't understand where she was and was unsure where she lived, so officers took her into custody for her own safety, and she spent the night in jail, was released without being charged. The headline on a cover of Star Magazine in January read, Katie Drug Shocker. That had Katie Holmes calling her lawyers. Now she's suing the publishers of Star Magazine, accusing them of libel for insinuating she's a drug addict. Holmes says the headline was false and not supported by the actual story in the magazine. In a statement, Katie Holmes says, Of all the fabricated stories that continue to be published about me, this instant is beyond the pale. Lisa Marie Presley, daughter of Elvis, leaving her Tunbridge Wells estate in rural southeast England, where she moved six months ago to escape the pressures and gossip of Los Angeles and returning to the U.S. with her music producer hubby, Michael Lockwood, and their twin daughters. Ah, maybe a little too quiet for her. I'm kidding. Former Hill star Spencer Pratt is offering to become part of troubled actor Charlie Sheen's winning team, volunteering her services for free as Sheen's publicist for after longtime rep Stan Rosenfeld quit this Monday. Meantime, the increasingly unhinged Jeans tells TMC his only fault is living a life you're all jealous of. Elton John's discussed the possibility of appearing on Glee with the show's creator, Ryan Murphy, star Matthew Morrison, says he thinks Elton will make a great boyfriend for Jane Lynch's manic alter ego, Sue. Lady Gaga has been asked to be godmother to Elton John's baby boy, Zachary. Imagine the fashion style of that kid. Can and you imagine a baptismal outfit? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> she comes out of the egg. It's all weird. <laughs> Nelly Furtado admitted this week she was paid $1 million back in 2007 to perform for members of the Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi's clan. She's now promising to donate the money to his end as yet unnamed charity. Meantime, reports are that Beyonce and Usher were hired by Gaddafi's son to perform for a New Year's Eve bash on the Caribbean island of St. Bart's. And Mariah Carey was reportedly hired for a previous year's bash for which she took home a reported $1 million dollars for performing just four songs Let's see if they keep it or not yeah celebrating a birthday today you share this date with john bon jovi he's 49 today daniel craig the latest uh, 007 is 43 today and singer chris martin of coldplay is 34 that's the hollywood hot seat brought to you by carpet one and quinny's greatest hits 95.5 hits fm